I was third day on the street and it was really cold. I didn't have much energy. So I went to hospital to get a jacket and ask about assisted suicide. <laughs> The city of Toronto tells us they are currently providing shelter to more than 7,500 people each night. But according to the latest city data, many of these shelters are at over 99% capacity. Let's move on to a story about a carpenter. His name's Khalil Seabright, and he's the guy who built some Toronto tiny shelters. These are places for people with no housing to be comfortable during the cold weather. It was a solution I never thought about. When you explained how it works, that it uses my body temperature. <gasps> oh, so now I'm the heating device. I'm the one who makes this adult a home. These encampments are not safe. They are not healthy and they do not belong in public parks. There was not a fire safety inspection done on these shelters by Jim Jessup or anyone from the fire department. And for you to say that they are definitely not safe is a complete lie. Who do you protect? Who do you protect? I don't think that we should be making it easier for the people in these encampments to sustain and live longer in these encampments. We should be encouraging them to leave. Where is the money for I so hope that he will not take that everybody needs home as much as I did. Khalil is one person. You cannot warm up the whole universe. <laughs>